Now, is it giving cancel club, Shay Shay? Absolutely not. Is it giving Uncle Shannon, why you ain't do your homework on Amanda Seals? Absolutely. Hello and welcome back, you beautiful people called Chatterboxes. This is the official recap of that three hour long interview. Let's chit chat. It's time to chit chat with your favorite pop culture critic. Y'all, if you are new here, hi, hello, welcome. It's YouTube, you know what to do. If you are enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. At the end of the video, if you like what you heard and you say to yourself, oh my God, I know somebody else who might like what I just heard, send it to them. Send it on, don't even hesitate. Don't think about, oh, should I send it? Send it. And then if you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit the button, love me like you do. Okay, and then lastly, on Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern on my live show, Stripped, we will be chit-chatting with Black, Shamari and Brandy from Black. We are going to have a good old stripped down conversation. So go over there, hit the notification bell, and then you don't even have to remember. It'll just remind you, hey, the show is getting ready to start. If I had to get my Keith Lee hands and rate the interview from one to 10, I'm going to give it a five. And I'm going to give it a five because Shannon Sharp didn't do his homework. I understand that in the interview, at one point, Amanda Seals is telling a story and she says that she was going on trips with her aunt. Her aunt later on got married to a white man and her life changed, her life with her aunt traveling with her, the things that they did, the experiences that they had when they went on vacation, the places they went on vacations to changed after her aunt married that man. That's what Amanda Seals said, right? Shannon Sharp didn't hear that and also didn't do his homework. So later on in the conversation, he's like, yeah, so your mom is white. Not only <laughs> is Amanda Seals' mother a beautiful West Indian woman, she is a woman that's also featured on Amanda Seals' Instagram page. You can go back years where Amanda Seals surprised her mother and paid off her mom's home. You can go back to events, to book signing. Like Amanda's mom is always. And I think that is my big issue with like big celebrity podcasts when they don't do their homework and there are plenty of content creators, podcasters, YouTubers out here putting in the work, doing the homework. And sometimes we can't secure those guests because the Shannon Sharps who ain't doing their homework got them. Moving on to the moment that went viral. When Shannon Sharp interviewed Cat Williams, when he interviewed Monique, I said on my lives to the chit chatters at the time, I feel like Shannon Sharp really is still stuck in the Fox news of it all. We aren't here with Skip Bayless. This isn't Fox TV, okay? This is a YouTube podcast. Lay back just a little bit. And I always feel like he is thinking about his sponsors first. Yes, you want to make your boss happy. Yes, all of that. But I feel like the first filter is through, oh my God, what are the sponsors going to think about this? And not actually hearing the guests and hearing their truth. Playing devil's advocate is a thing. That's how you get the moments that you're looking for out of the interview, yes, true. However, I do believe that there are certain moments that shouldn't have devil advocate. When this black woman was telling you a black man her racist experience, there is no need or room to play devil's advocate. The only questions there should have been, how did that make you feel? How did you internalize that? Did, did that show up later on in your life? Did, did you suppress it? Did it present itself someplace else? Things like that. Human, human questions. Not, well, did you think like kids were just being kids or maybe, maybe the teacher just didn't like that you were questioning her. Like, that's weird. And I'm, I'm going to stand on that. I am going to stand on that. And I don't care. You can have a different opinion, respectfully, in the comments. But <laughs> this one is mine. I think that is weird. On my Instagram reels, I shared a story where my sister was in science class and the science teacher told the whole class, well, the reason that black people are better at sports is because they actually have an extra ligament in their leg that makes them run faster. 
My sister had to come home to my mother. My mother had to go to her coworker and say, excuse me. The fuck? Like, and then when you people, especially when it comes to like Diddy, y'all want to be like, well, why are you just now saying something? Why, these, the Shannon Sharp, who are we supposed to say this stuff to? The people who want to play devil's advocate? Like, let's let's be so for real. I also think that this interview was a great example of the fact that not all humans put the same emphasis on the same syllables, right? People see things differently. A great example of that is in the interview, Amanda Seals is talking about how she didn't necessarily want to go on the audition. So she was not that child star that was like trying to get the auditions and like trying to bow people out of the way. She really wanted to go to gymnastics. To which Shannon Sharp said, yeah, well, gymnastics not offering you no jobs. Right there, you see the difference in perspective. Amanda Seals wasn't acting as a way out. She wasn't trying to use her talent as a way out or as a catapult forward. So automatically you can see that they are putting these things through different lenses and that's life that's okay two people who see things through different lenses should absolutely come together and have respectful conversation again i do believe that that moment of him questioning her racist experience was like weird well child yesterday everybody was such in a tizzy over as they should have been over Shannon Sharp not hearing Amanda Seals' racist experience and not validating that experience that we flew past the Easter ray of it all. I'm here <laughs> to chit chat about that. Remember when Cat Williams was on Shannon Sharp? He said he never gets hurt by not getting praise from like mainstream media that side because he's never seen anything on that side that he wants. The last time Amanda Seals went viral, the the not getting the awards moment of it all, I did say, I did a video and I did say like, I feel like Amanda still sees something over there that she wants. And this Shannon Sharp interview made me feel different. Amanda is just saying like, hello, I am here. I am occupying the space. Why, why are you acting? Why are you acting like I'm not when it comes to the awards and the accolades of it all? Not that she needs it, but like, if we're going to call a spade a spade in every other place, why this spade not being called? And I, I, I find that valid. I see that. When it comes to the Issa Ray of your Issa, now, I know you... I know you're busy and we love you down, but uh, we're going to have to hold you accountable or at least give you the opportunity to speak your truth, right? So I'm saying, hey, Issa, if your people not on the phone with Shannon Sharp, go over there and get on the phone with Shannon Sharp. Go to Club Shay Shay and give your side of the story. Monique did it. I want to hear what you have to say. Until then, I'm going to go off what I got. What I got is Amanda Seals saying that when she asked you why you didn't really see it for her, you said, well, I don't know. I guess I was really seeing you as your character. Issa, the fuck? You, come on. Come on, come on, come on, girl. You wrote that character. You created that character. You cast this woman to bring your vision to life. She brings it to life. Now you don't like her because you now think she is her. But but you, you've never had a, her experience with Amanda. Girl, girl. Also, Issa, Yvonne, Kelly. The men's. Why come for Amanda Seals was inviting you to her house for game night 
and then you like you wasn't coming. Why come for Amanda Seals was trying to build community and camaraderie around the cast and you wasn't you wasn't doing that, huh? And is the reason you weren't doing that because all of y'all were seeing her as her character? Okay, great. Um, Issa, Issa, look you down, girl. I, I, I think you should get on the line with Club Shay Shay. Your boss hood is a little bit at question, a lot of bit at question here. Um, what's T? Why would you let your publicist do that, Vanessa? Come, come, give me something. You gonna have to, you gonna have to say something. You gonna have to say something other than, I just didn't like her. No, we throwing people out of parties because absolute power corrupts absolutely. Like you just ain't never had no power. Why? Now, if you were lost, you will remember way back in your memory that at one time. It was all in the headlines that Amanda Seals was kicked out of the Black Emmy party. Then all of the reasons why she got into a fight, she threw up, she went to the bathroom in the middle of the party, all of those things started floating around. Well, true T is, according to Amanda, Issa Rae's publicist Vanessa did not like Amanda. Amanda brings this to Issa, the boss. Issa says, my name is Bennett. I ain't in it. <laughs> okay. Cool. Amanda sensed what she sensed. Now it's time for this Emmy party. Amanda is invited to the Emmy party. She gets there. Gives them their name. Lady at the door says, you can't come in. You being Amanda Seals. Amanda Seals says, Cool. Her friend said, no, I'm going to go in. I'm going to see what's going on. She said, I'm not saying outside of no party, babes. Going to go. She leaves. She's walking away. Somebody sees her, brings her back. What you mean? You not on the list. You could come in with me. Goes back to the door. No, she can't come in. That person says, I'm going to go see what's going on. She says, I'm not standing outside no party. She walks away. This is Amanda's story. Now another person comes back. He now then says, I helped put this party together. She coming in with me. She goes in. She's at the bar. Security comes to escort her. She's like, you got you to give me a reason. You got to give me a reason. You got to give me a name. And I think that's valid. Mind you, this is a black Emmy party for the black celebrities. Okay. Long story short, she ends up getting chest bumped by security. Y'all know what security is. Security is a, is a man. We talking about Amanda Seals. Okay, cool. Chest bump. And I know you think it's yourself, oh, well, what did she do? Did she try to throw her purse? Did she? Nothing. Nothing. She was going to turn around and say, F you. But upon the turnaround, charged. To which Bennett, a.k.a. Issa Wright, days later, now calls Amanda Seals. Now she want to be in it. Hey, I just want you to know I didn't have nothing to do with that. The kick out of the party. But I do think you should talk to Vanessa. Oh, the same Vanessa that I've been told you didn't like me? We didn't even have to be here, babes. Gets on the line with. Vanessa, Vanessa was like, yeah, babes, I just want you to know it was me. <laughs> she threw you out the party. <laughs> she doesn't like you. And then proceeds to go and plant stories in the media about things that just never happened. Amanda also shared with Shay Shay the story of her being in flow with tree. Now, me... I am an Amanda Seals girl, okay? I've been following Amanda Seals since before she moved into the house that she was in on Instagram, okay? So when she used to be in her backyard on her trampoline doing cartwheels, I have been following Amanda for a very long time. I just always have seen it for her. She did a stint in Flowetry. Marsha never told the audience that 
Flo Tree had broken up and that Amanda Seals was the new replacement. So all of these people are coming to tour dates looking to see the Flo Tree that they know and they got Marcia and Amanda and they are confusion and they are not treating Amanda well. Okay. That's that's the story in short. You can go listen to her tell it. Now, what I did not know as it pertains to the Flo Tree story is one day Natalie goes and does the Wendy Williams show. How you doing? Shout out to Wendy Williams. Y'all know I'm a Jersey girl. I love me some Wendy. She is on the Wendy Williams show. Amanda and Marsha are in a car together, headed back to the hotel, leaving rehearsal because they're on tour. And Natalie is on Wendy Williams giving it to Amanda. I don't know who this Amanda girl is. If you go in to see Flowetry on tour, just know that you're not seeing no real Flowetry. I am the real Flowetry. How can they be real when I'm real? Stay in the car. (laughs) My God, on today. And Marsha is saying nothing. Play it in the car for a minute. Get out the car. Go to the hotel. Marsha don't have no plans. She like, okay, you heard the interview. Good for you. Still no plans to announce Amanda to the audience. Still no plans to bring Amanda in. Amanda says she thinks, she thinks that Marsha's reasoning for doing this was because Marsha was ready to launch her solo career. And if Amanda just quit the tour, this could be a preview of what is to come for her solo career who knows amanda stayed she stuck around she finished the tour again all in all i think it was a really really interesting interview (laughs) i do think that in some parts of the conversation shannon was out of his depth and that's okay And that's okay. I do think also that some of y'all are now just being able to hear Amanda Seals because Shannon didn't hear Amanda Seals. And that is something that I think, I I think Amanda knew that when she said yes to this interview. Hmm. Issa Rae, you call time. Go get the people on the phone, child. Go, yay. You need to plan your trip to Club Shay Shay. And I know that you drink, but I personally am not here to tell you what to do, Madam Issa. I just want to say that I I think that you should only drink water during the interview too. So that we could just call it even Stevens. And we don't even have to add anything to the pot when we are trying to filter out what we're hearing. Okay, stop looking at me. Go get your people on the line. 